Rick and Morty, the most news in the morning, period. Weekday 6 Eastern. The GOP is in search of a leader, and Limbaugh has certainly rallied the base. So what is Limbaugh's role in the Republican Party right now? Congressman Ron Paul joins us now, live on the phone. He's in Lake Jackson, Texas. So when you take a look at what happened at, at CPAC over the last few days, Congressman Paul, Rush Limbaugh appeared to be the big hit. Is, is he emerging as the leader of the Republican Party? Well, I think the Democrats would certainly like that, and he is a leader. He does say the right things now, and I think a lot of people like, like to hear what he's saying. But I think uh, it's also a little bit polarizing and confrontational, and I think that's why the Democrats are bragging that uh, Limbaugh now speaks for the Republicans. So I guess uh, the Democrats think it's uh, to their advantage to if he's leading the charge. Now, now, of course, he's a very popular person. He's a staunch conservative. But what does it say that the, the almost like the, 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 the spokesperson for a political party is a radio talk show host as opposed to it being one of the political leadership? I, I think it's pretty sad. You're, you're, it's a good point to make. And uh, that means that the Republicans are really starving for some type of leadership. Now, and I, and I think his message is good and does appeal to a lot when he criticizes some of the extravagance of the uh, Obama's administration, but uh, he, he really doesn't broaden the base. I mean, it's, it's still very narrow, and that is why some of us would like to see an approach that would emphasize personal liberties, civil liberties, looking at the drug war, and certainly looking at foreign policy. And in, in those areas, it's, it's really the old Republican Party, because uh, even Linbaugh was a strong supporter of Bush, so he doesn't have anything new either uh, when it comes to uh, you know, bringing our troops home and not expanding the war in Afghanistan and mm -hmm. talking about, uh, you know, the danger to our personal liberties and our privacy. So there's a group of us that would like to uh, appeal somewhat differently to the Republican base and, matter of fact, to the American people. That's what's I, really important. I was fascinated to see that in terms of expanding the base that Ron Paul is bringing a lot of new young people in the door. Young Americans for Liberty is a new organization that's cropped up around your campaign for liberty. It's fascinating the 72-year-old white guy from Texas is bringing a lot of young people. <laughs> also, this straw poll that uh, took place over the weekend, you tied for third with Sarah Palin. Mitt Romney came in first for the third year in a row. Bobby Jindal came in second. What does that say? Say about the 2012 election cycle. Are you going to gear up the campaign for liberty again? Well, the campaign for liberty has been uh, geared up and is going to continue to grow, so it's, it's going to be alive and well, and I think uh, uh, we will have a presence. Exactly how that uh, translates into my personal activities, all that remains to be seen. But the important thing is, is that somebody comes through with a philosophy that appeals to good, principled, liberal Democrats and progressives who like personal liberty, who don't want to see perpetual war, and to appeal to people who believe in the free market. I mean, this is what we need. We're in desperate shape financially. Mm -hmm. Worldwide, we're bankrupting ourselves because we're overextended. So there's room for these views. So I'm very excited that the campaign for liberty is going to continue and to continue to grow, although it's recognized that although we did well at that convention, uh, uh, still the base is locked into the old-fashioned conservative viewpoints, which is, to me, uh, very restrictive. So let me see if I can get you out early here. Will you run again in 2012? I, I don't think so. I'm not playing that. It's a long way off. I, I hardly can visualize what the country's going to be like then at the rate we're deteriorating uh, financially. So yeah. right now I just plan to promote the cause. Gotcha. Congressman Ron Paul, it's always great to catch up with you. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you very much. All right, take care.